the stomach with a flintlock pistol, kick you to the ground, chop off your shoulder blade with a hand axe, gouge out your eyes with a marlin spike, wind your intestines around the prow, and then toss your twitching body overboard. And that's only a slight. What the fuck? Hey guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, we are returning to Sam Onella Academy. Today with why it sucked to be a pirate. Now, I am hoping that this is far less disturbing than Terrare. Terrare, he made me sick to my stomach. I'm, that, that, that was disturbing. So there might be honks occurring in the background. I hope the mic doesn't pick them up. It shouldn't, but it probably will knowing my luck. Anyways, here's hoping that this video does not disturb me like Terrare did. Why it sucked to be a pirate. Hey, little Jimmy. Yeah, what's up? Do you like Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. yeah. That's all right. So do you think it'd be fun to be a pirate? Hell no. yeah. Well, guess what? You couldn't be more wrong. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. At some point, every kid has dreamed about being a swashbuckle and corn shuckle and wife cuckle and cocksuckle. I don't know about if that bit was part of my dreams of being a pirate. A pirate. And I, I don't remember there being corn shucking. Uh, that's that's Midwest. That's Midwest USA life, not not pirate life. If I wanted to be a corn shucking, I'd stay, you know, in the Midwest, not go be a pirate. But trust me when I say, it was really not all it's cracked up to be. First, we'll talk about the food. So one staple of the pirate... Oh yeah, because you're on a ship most of the time, your food's gonna suck. Not to mention, you're pretty much against the law as a pirate, so yeah. Yeah. Pirate diet was salted meat, usually wild oxen or pork. And I love jerky as much as the next guy, but this wasn't like a bag of Jack Links. In fact, it was probably closer in texture to your shoes than. It yes, salted. <laughs> About the only flavor on it would be the salt, right? Because it'd be dry. It'd be tough. It was purposefully tough because I think that adds to like filling you. Like you can eat less, and you'll be filled more because of the toughness of the meat. I could be wrong on that. That's just what what sounds right in my head. <laughs> Any meat you've ever eaten. In those days, you couldn't just snap into a Slim Jim. That's a what? luxury that no we take way. for granted. Back then, the slogan was gnaw on a Slim Jim for minutes on end, grinding it between your molars while the gallons of salt turn your mouth into a... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what, that's what salted uh, pork or what not was back then. Desert, until the mangled hunk of flesh in your mouth is just soft enough to be shoved down your greasy fucking pirate throat without tearing a hole. Another, <laughs> Another essential food item was known as hardtack. This was essentially oh. just flour and water baked into a cracker-like brick. Beyond the fact that it was totally flavorless, hardtack was also extremely dense, to the point where pirates would often have to slam their fists down on it in order to break it into pieces small enough to fit in their mouth. As long as it was kept dry, hardtack almost never spoiled, although it often became infested with weevils. Um... Ew. Excuse me, sir. I'm a vegan, so like, can I have a new piece? One without any of Mother Nature's beautiful creatures in it? Thanks. Wait a minute, is this gluten free? This better be hemp rope, not. <laughs> it better be hemp rope. <laughs> uh, but the weevils didn't make you sick or change the taste all that much, so, and this is true, the crew would just eat it in the dark, so that way they couldn't tell if they were eating a normal chunk or a weevily one. Uh, uh. Okay, at least it's not like Terrare who would, you know drink the blood from hospital patients then there's the but crowding still. so pirate ships typically packed in as many crew members as possible because more pirates means more manpower when you go to board an enemy ship of course the downside to that is that you're basically like a bunch of hairy unwashed sardines <laughs> yeah yeah that 
it's the pirate life for me. Let me illustrate what a typical night below deck was like. So you're sprawled out on the damp, musty wood floor. Everything's pitch black, you can't see a thing. The smell of the filth and the mold forces you to only breathe through your mouth. Suddenly, your left hand feels wet, probably just seawater leaking through the hull. You sniff your hand, nope, no, that's piss. You feel something furry rub up against your elbow. It was either the body of a diseased rat or the beard of your diseased crewmate. Either way, that's probably where the piss came from. Some guy's moaning loudly in the next room. Hopefully he's just jerking off, because if he's dying, that's one more body to deal with in the morning. Rinse and repeat for eight hours, and then it's daytime. The poor diet and cramped condition. Yes. Yes, disease. Disease loves ships. Ships are like prime condition for a lot of diseases. And it's not just because in those times it would be a cramped ship, but it's because typically, especially in the Caribbean, Caribbean, however you want to pronounce it, I've, I bounce back and forth. Um, it, it's, um, The moisture, right? Diseases love typically a decent amount of disease. And it's obviously not all diseases, right? I know some things about science. Um, not all diseases thrive in human moist climates. But a fair amount do. And they would find themselves onto ships. <laughs> led to disease being a huge problem aboard pirate ships. The most well-known of these diseases is scurvy, where you don't get enough vitamin C. When scurvy first begins, you just kind of feel tired all the time, no big deal. Then you get weird spots on your skin and your gums start bleeding. This progresses until all your teeth fall out and all of your body's mucous membranes start gushing blood and pus, causing you to die. What the fuck is wrong with Salmonella? Why does he like fucked up stuff? So that's a lot of fun. There were tons of other diseases too. I won't go through them all, but here's a few. <laughs> jungle dick sniffles, rotten dick jungles, jungle dick rot, dick sniffles, dick rot, syphilis, malaria. Two honorable mentions. Also, some people say that alcoholism is a disease. I might just be disturbed, but that's one sickness I could definitely get down with. If it. He's disturbed. I think after watching so far half of this video. And all of Terrare, he's disturbed. If it is a disease, then yeah, just about every pirate had this one. If anything, though, I'd call that one of the few upsides of pirate life. Finally, there's the combat. So you've gone through all these disgusting, horrible living conditions, but at least you can enjoy the thrill of battle, right? Swinging from rope to rope, sword in your mouth, long, intense saber duels, that- This video is just making me want to play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Like, not gonna lie. That kind of thing. But that's typically not how it went down. Aww. For one thing, when pirates boarded a ship, nine times out of ten, they just surrender immediately. Because what are a bunch of well-groomed merchants going to do against a horde of disgusting barbarians? If Fair point. If the defending ship did decide to fight back, though, the resulting brawl wouldn't be anything like the movies. It'd be way worse, like immediate R rating. Because pirates rely a lot on brutality, both because they don't have much real training, and because it scares the shit out of people. If you were a deck... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on an invaded ship, and you were stupid enough to fight back, you wouldn't be dancing around doing flips and shit, none of that. Instead, they'd probably shoot you in the stomach with a flintlock pistol, kick you to the ground, chop off your shoulder blade with a hand axe, gouge out your eyes with a marlin spike, wind your intestines around the prow, and then toss your twitching body overboard. And that's only a slight. What the fuck? exaggeration. Honestly, if Jack Sparrow got attacked by actual pirates, he wouldn't last a second. It's kind of like a used car salesman going to prison, like, I'll be fine. If anybody tries intimidating me, I can get out of it with my quick wit and charming personality. Boy, you look real pretty from behind. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm boned. So, yeah, it... He's boned, figuratively and literally. In short, if you're thinking about pulling a Captain Phillips anytime soon, I'd advise against it. That's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam Anella, and thank you for watching. <sighs> I'm disturbed again. Ah, <sighs> no. Um, uh, what am I supposed to say? Ugh!
Ah. Uh, okay. First, first off, it's not as disturbing as Terrare. <laughs> it's got that going for it. <laughs> that did not gross me out as much as Terrare did. But I was not expecting the detail he went into. I thought he would just make some, you know, fairly surface level points, you know, and just be like, yeah, no, life sucked. You, you had a high risk of disease, scurvy. Uh, you were against the law. There were, you know, the British and Spanish had big ships. Um, the humidity sucked or something. I don't know. <laughs> Cramped conditions, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, huh. Yeah, good video. <laughs> um, I mean, I like his sense of humor. He, I, I really do enjoy. I really do. In the end, I do enjoy his videos, even though they are extremely disturbing to me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you.